Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm playing with a new stamp set from the latest release by my favorite things. This one is called You Keep Me Afloat, comes with lots of boats and adorable bunnies and I'm going to combine it with an older die to create my ocean. Now this is a die from a previous release which is Color Wave Cover Up. If you don't have this die you can always use your scissors and cut out similar waves for your background. So in this die there are seven waves, I'm going to use four of them to be my uh, actual sea and three of them are going to be the sky. I did choose uh, different colors of blue and you can see I went all the way from super dark to white and this is a great way to use your scraps. Every time I'm going to run the die through my die cutting machine by adding just a piece of that cardstock in the wave that I want to cut out and you don't have to run it actually seven times to get your seven waves. Just add pieces of cardstock in different parts, just like I'm doing here, where I will end up with two of the waves that I need. As I cut them out, I make sure that I place them in order so that I don't mix them up at the end. And now I'm working on a white piece of cardstock. This is four and a quarter by five and a half, and I'm going to place all those waves one on top of the other. Now, for the first wave, I'm going with one layer of foam tape. I want my waves to have um, dimension and uh, kind of an illusion of um, moving. So the first wave has one layer of foam, the second wave has two layers of foam, then I'm going down to one layer of foam for the third wave, and then again two layers of foam for the fourth wave. So it is up and down, up and down. Hope that makes sense. Also, as you place them one on top of the other, you can have a little bit of that white background to show in between if you want to. It helps the eye to separate those waves and adds even more to that dimensional look that I am going for. And although my waves are up and down, for the sky there are three layers, I am going completely flat with my glue. It is a really fun design, I absolutely love how the background came together and uh, since I love blue I did have lots and lots of uh, blue scraps so it was a great way to use them up. Here is a side view where you can hopefully see all the dimension and I'm going to use my paper trimmer to make it slightly smaller for the standard card. So when I place this panel on top of my 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half card base I will end up having a lovely border which I feel always adds something extra, like a finishing touch on a clean and simple looking card. And now let's do some stamping. I'm using my Extreme Black Ink by My Favorite Things. This is alcohol marker friendly. I'm stamping the little bunny that is in the boat and uh, he's fishing. I also did stamp a few fish. I was thinking to use more of them, but you will see at the end I'm just going with one. I did some basic quick coloring on the boat with a red. I did uh, kept my bunny mainly white with some shadows of um, vanilla. I did use the matching dice to cut out my images and now I'm going to stick them down. Now the bunny and the boat is going completely flat at the background. That's why I used my barely add glue there and I'm going to give him a fish at the end of his pole. And I absolutely love that angle of the boat at the top of this wave. It really looks as if there is movement on the card. And of course you can call this card done. If you are like me, you cannot stay away from a little bit of sparkle on a card. I feel like it always adds an extra fun touch. That's why I used gems in different shades of blue, starting from the darker at the bottom and going all the way to the lighter shades. And these gems are all included in the pink fresh jewel kit. So here is my finished card, perfect for the season. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment, to like the video, it really helps, as well as subscribe if you haven't done so already. Just like always, down below in the description area you will find links to everything I used. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today and I'll see you all next time.